13. It is currently January 1st. I'm a little past 1 a.m. and I just got back from my New Year's party. So I'm a little bit tired, but I still figured to film this video now instead of later because that's just better. So I'm just going to film it now. So if I'm acting a little bit like crazy and like I don't know what I'm saying, that's why. So I wanted to get this up before it was too late and so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and let's just get started. And I'll also have who I specifically tag right here as well as in the information box down below. So yeah, but also if you aren't specifically tagged here or in the description box, please feel free to do this tag and then leave it as a video response down below because I would love to watch it. So let's begin. Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I absolutely adore this. I got it back in either July or August and I have pretty much used it almost every day since then. I love this. It's in the shade Light and honestly I have noticed a lot of benefits with my skin. Number one, my freckles on my nose have definitely faded a lot and I definitely think it's because of this BB Cream. don't really stick to a specific, a specific blush because I kind of get tired of it, but normally I'll always drift back to a light pink blush, and this is one that is my go-to, and it is Max Well Dressed, which is just a super gorgeous light pink blush. I really do like this, and I will probably always use it. So boring with this but I do not stick with an eyeshadow routine so I have a favorite eyeliner that I've used every single day since I got it there's not one day I use gel or pencil every single day it was this and this is unless I'm doing a tutorial this is the L'Oreal carbon black lean intense felt tip liquid eyeliner my best friend Madison got it for me or Maddie Glam one I'll have her channel linked right here so you guys can go subscribe to her um, she's literally amazing but anyway she got this for me and ever since I have been obsessed with it. I have not used any other eyeliner. I adore it so much. It's by far the absolute best eyeliner on the market. It's perfect. It is the definition of a perfect eyeliner. Like if you were to look up in the dictionary, perfect eyeliner, there would be a picture of this. It's perfect. It's perfect. So I really, I have nothing bad to say about this eyeliner. I love it. Gonna be really boring here, but it is my Co Bigelow Rose Salve. This is really an awesome, awesome lip product. I have quite a dent in mine. I'm gonna actually put some on right now because my lips are feeling kind of dry. And this just instantly moisturizes them, and they feel so. It's rejuvenated. The word that doesn't. That sounds like what you like juice something with. Like, oh, I'm gonna go juice a carrot. Let me go use the rejuvenator. But my lips just feel better after using this and it stays on a really, really long time. However, it doesn't really like seal the um, wound like Caramex does, but this moisturizes it like no other and I love the smell of it and it's amazing. I got this at Bath & Body Works for $7. I'm going to be boring here and go with Makeup Wipes. This is Clean & Clear and I've used them. Oh, there's nothing in it. Now I'm using Neutrogena, but these are still my favorite. Nail polish is something, again, that I don't have a specific favorite for because I get very tired of the same nail polish rather quickly. But recently, like within the last, well, in 2012, I discovered shellac nails, and ever since then, I've been obsessed with shellac. So really, I'm, I'm loving shellac. I have it on right now. And I love shellac nails. I sound for two weeks, and I I don't have time to paint my nails anymore. And also, nail polish chips, and it just doesn't look good. But shellac looks perfect and shiny, and I love shellac. So I guess shellac would be just a favorite. How many times did I say shellac in that sentence? Quite a bit. I actually have two because it's so boring that I thought I may as well show them both. Why not bore you guys the double amount of time? So the first one, <laughs> this isn't even a hair product, it's a tool, it's a comb, okay? Um, I don't use hair products at all. I never have, other than shampoo and conditioner and heat, uh, heat protectant, but I don't use hair products. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. So a uh, comb, because I like to comb my hair when I get out of the shower. I like this one. It's by Goody. And oh, 
baby powder because I use this as dry shampoo and it works better than dry shampoo because I used to trust my one it makes my hair greasier. Oh my god. Why am I so stupid? Um, but I like baby powder. I think it works better than dry shampoo and it's way less and I don't know. It blends in with your hair. I, I think it works just fine. favorite perfume has been Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. I got this for my birthday. That is April 3rd if anyone was wondering. This smells so good. It reminds me of, this is weird, but it reminds me of my friend Sibel because she wears this all the time and she smells so good and I'm always like, oh my god, are you wearing Taylor Swift? She's like, yeah, Taylor Swift. So she just smells so good. this shirt from Forever 21 and I know it looks really like weird and exotic but every time I wear it I literally get 20 compliments every time I wear it okay, and they also sell this in pants but I wouldn't recommend to wear them together that would be a little bit much it is my Rebecca Minkoff mini Mac bag that I got with my best friend Madison Maddie Glenn one but I'm currently not using this. Right now I'm using my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch, which I just got for Christmas. But that's not like my favorite accessory because I only had it for like six days out of the whole entire year. But this I had since summertime and I have used it up until I got my clutch. So it's been a fantastic bag. It still is a great bag and I really do love this bag. And if you're looking for a Rebecca Minkoff, I would definitely recommend this bag first. Even though it looks small, you can fit a heck of a lot of stuff in here. When I show this, people are going to be like, oh my god, you're 14, why do you have these shoes? Well, I don't know, why do you have a nose? Same thing. Um, they are from Love Culture, and I adore these shoes so much. They are wedges, and I don't know how tall they are, but the platform is kind of big, so the heel isn't hard to walk in actually at all. It's very natural, and since it's a wedge, it's even easier. My sister said that they look like huts, but... I don't know, huts are cool, I guess, so. Mm -hmm. I wore them out one time, and I was taller, or as tall as my six-foot grandpa, so that was good. I, yes, I wore these out with my grandparents. I loved Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, the Devil Wears Prada is definitely my favorite movie, so it was Mean Girls, Elf, definitely The Devil Wears Prada, I'd have to say. Divergent this year, definitely Divergent. I think I did. No, I actually read it last year, back in 2012, because you know it's 2013 now. 2012, I think I read Divergent, and that was the best book ever. I don't know. Um, I can't pick. I don't know. Probably like French fries. Food is so good. iced tea. I have been so obsessed with iced tea. Like, I can't get enough of it. It's like, iced tea, iced tea, give it, give it. Any iced tea, I'm, I'm golden. It has to be Call Me Maybe. It's like the song of the year. So, that is the best of 2012 tag. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I don't know what that was. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And please leave a video response down below of your answers. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!